January 4th, St. Gregory, Bishop of Langres. Gregory of Langres, also known as Gregory of Autun, was a Gallo Roman prelate. He was born to a rather distinguished family in the year 466. He went on to govern the district of Autun as a count for 40 years, administering justice equitably but sternly. However, soon after he lost his worthy wife in death, he resigned his office and turned away from the world and gave himself unreservedly to God. It was not long before he was consecrated in view of his singular virtues, Bishop of Langras. His great-grandson, St. Gregory of Tours, wrote of him that he lived like an anchorite in the midst of the world. During his administration, two monasteries, which would later acquire fame, were founded in his diocese, that of St. John de Rion and an offshoot founded by St. Siena. St. Gregory presided in the Sea of Langres with admirable prudence and zeal for another thirty-three years, sanctifying his pastoral labors by the most profound humility, auscidious prayer, and mortification. An incredible number of infidels were converted by him from idolatry, and worldly Christians from their disorders. He died at the beginning of the year 539, a few days after the Epiphany. Out of devotion to St. Benignus, he desired to be buried near that saint's tomb in Dijon, that which was fulfilled by the care of his virtuous son, Tetricus, who succeeded him in the sea. His epitaph, composed by Venatius Fortunatus, suggests that any severity he had displayed as a secular ruler was expiated by the tender charity he showed to all in his last years. Even in the miracles recorded after death, he seemed to give the preference to captives who had been arrested by the officers of human justice.